Right guys, we're gonna start this video here. We're on Walking Street. The reason why I've come to Walking Street is because there's a lot going on on Walking Street. Um, some of you might agree with this, some of you might disagree. Uh, basically, um, I think it was probably going back about, about a year ago or two years ago when there was a fire on Walking Street. And the trucks, the fire trucks had a problem getting down here. So uh, they all came to an agreement. They're gonna remove the signs. I don't mean remove the signs from um, the clubs. It was the ones that were hanging over in the soy. And if you look over there, you see a big truck there, um, high up, that is taking down these signs. I, I mean, I think some of them like that, obviously I don't think they probably would matter. The, the fire uh, trucks are probably less than that. That looks pretty high. But yeah, they're taking the signs down. Is that gonna change Walking Street? Um, because you've got, you know, it's like a neon city as you walk down. To be fair though, I was down here the other night with Phil from the pub and it looked better, to be honest with you. It looked more sort of bigger and more open. You can still see the neon signs, uh, but let us know what you think about this, guys. Do you think it's uh, a good thing or is it uh, a bad thing? Remember, they have been discussing this for many, many years uh, and they did give a warning. They told everybody that it had to be down by a certain date or they're going to take them down themselves. So yesterday, the trucks came along uh, from City Hall and they started taking them down. Now, as I'm looking from this direction here, that just looks so much wider and open, Walking Street. Uh, and like I said, when, when I saw it last week, it looked, it, it started taking them down, but I don't know, it, it looks a lot better to me. This does, it looks a lot better. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think? And on to the next place. Oh, look at this guy over here. He is live streaming. Hey, and I, I've just noticed, Dan, we're on low battery. Right, guys, no, we're getting... Low memory. No, low battery. Battery is full. That's the memory. Yes. That's the memory. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. You got it wrong. <laughs> I got it wrong. <laughs> What's going on in Pattaya? And look at this Chinese here. <laughs> Looks like a Chinese restaurant. Uh, maybe similar to the one that's going opposite at Uko Corner. Uh, that's the sign, isn't it? We've come to Big C uh, because I need to get a bracket for a big TV. I've got a 65-inch TV that's going in Looper Bar. It's not for sport or anything like that, guys. It's for the live shows, and so you can uh, watch in the bar. It's a big TV, but I've got no bracket, and I need a bracket. Now, look, I try to keep saving costs on things, uh, things like CCTV, sound systems. We know people already. So although the architect can do these things, if we do them ourselves, it cuts the price down quite a lot. Um, just those small bits that we need, we need to finish with. Because obviously everybody puts the price on, uh, and this is the way we, we always do it. Um, so we're coming at that point now where we're just having to get bits and bits. It's going to be like this for the next two weeks. So it's very difficult for me at the moment, guys, to make any other videos because we, we need to be on this. So we're going to go in Big C. We're going to get a bracket for the Big TV and then go back to Looper. Because I want to get Looper done so the guys can then get onto Oakwood Corner and the um, cocktail bar because they're all working on that at the moment. So let's go inside Big C. So this is the one we're going to go for here. It holds up to 50 kilos. And the way, it's going to charge me 500 part for fitting it. We've come and got it. So I've done it a much cheaper. If I just give it them to do properly uh, instead of, this is, you know, in the UK, we've talked about um, getting rid of like foreigners, the word foreigner. Um, and I don't mean that literally. I mean, you know, when somebody does a job on the side, uh, somebody's a builder and then suddenly they're going to cut you off because of programmable digital currency, uh, which is uh, probably coming in globally, isn't it? They're putting it under this thing. So yeah, come on, we all like to, um, you know, get some plumbing done, get some eating, get your mate around. Does it you cheaper than going through the books? Uh, everybody wins, but that's gonna be cut out, isn't it? Right, short montage of going back. Short time. <laughs> right. So today we're checking out Sharples 
traditional UK chip shop. Um, I'm in my grumpy old man mode, so I'm going to be, uh, I'm really going to be scrutinising the food. I went for this Savaloy. the Savaloy uh, sausage, homemade chips. Let's see how it is. Um, I remember this place when it used to be Fridays, so I go back quite a long way to this area. Um, so I'm genuinely interested to see how it is, Nick. I was going to go for the children's menu because it's the cheapest thing on the menu, <laughs> but I don't think I can pass for that. <laughs> Here again, I've got, um, I've not gone for fish this time. I've just gone for chips, battered sausage and gravy because I'm a proper northerner and I've got some bread and butter on the side as well. Interesting. Not exactly Scottish style, <laughs> but I'll taste it and make taste the same. Uh, Martin, what was your opinion on that quickly? What's your opinion? Um, Careful, we're going to oh, up Sorry. <laughs> uh, I love the chips. The chips were excellent. Homemade yeah. chips. And um, there's plenty of them in there, isn't there? Because a lot of people. Oh, there was. Yeah, I mean, there was a good portion. Fat, fat, the chips good portion right. of that. I think I'm working work my way through the menu. Um, <laughs> I think it's like everything else, and the Thai food quite reasonable, 120 baht. So I, I think you made a mistake when you bought when you ordered that sausage because I had the batter sausage. Yeah. Oh wow. Jumbo sausage. I just noticed some of on the. <laughs> 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 what, what's, what's strange about that is that it's, it's next to a sign that says sack and crack. That, that's <laughs> what we did in there. That's what we actually did. Uh, by the way, that, just a quick one on that. I spoke to managers and uh, they're up for the challenges. They're up for a weekly challenge where I gave them a weekly challenge. Ah. When well, it could be some alcohol one week, could be a not sack and crack. They're up for it, it could be a bungee. They're all up for you. Well, I reckon we're going to do some weekly challenges in the brand new Looper studio. Yeah. We've been talking about this earlier on. We've got, um, we're going to maybe be doing beauty pageants, some quiz, uh, maybe quiz shows with people, with, with maybe some of the viewers. Um, and we'll also do like challenges and stuff. So um, I think that's going to be quite an interesting. Well, we're going to go there now because I, I, we've got to meet the architect. And uh, so anything Martin needs to be done in there can be done. So quickly, Martin, uh, Sharp Sharpos. Sharpos, listen, I'll, I'll say it. It's a thumbs up from me. There you go. Oh. Martin here to the new bar Looper. The reason, one of the reasons why is because uh, to look at the sort of VIP studio, come studio at the very back, see if you want anything in there. What do you think of it so far, Martin? I said it before, I'll say it again. <laughs> this is this looks a great bar. I like the shape. The shape is just pleasing to the eye, yeah. to be honest. Um, the freshness, the colours, even the colour, the, the kind of Blue tiles. Aqua blue tiles, which is really, it just, it kind of cheers you up a wee bit. Yeah, Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. I want cheered up. And we've even got June over there looking, she's got wearing the looper colours. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll see her in a minute. Um, so yeah, and, and the back area, I've noticed you put two aircon um, yes, in units the in the back, so it's going to be really nice and chilled yeah, and, yeah. and we'll get some privacy comments. Well, I need that because if you, when we're doing a Thursday night live, I'm going to need somewhere but it's cool. It looks like that's going to be our favourite uh, little place. Um, uh, we were thinking maybe we could get some LED sign, you yeah. know, that, 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 that connects when the curtains get shut, yeah. and then a little sign comes up saying uh, Munger in action. <laughs> on air, Munger's on air. <laughs> right, so let's just have a walk through, let's have a walk through, artist. Ah, yes. Yeah, it feels fresh, doesn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. And you can see that June's dress is the same colour as the walls, <laughs> which is handy. If, if her handbag was yellow, it'd be even better. <laughs> so that's a bit, of a bit of a mistake, the handbag, but we'll get that sorted. So what was going to go up here, Nick? Uh, this is going to be for glasses, Martin. Uh, All right. So this will be your glasses. They, they had to extend this down because they put it too high. So even I was struggling to get up here. Is this, so, this is a different system from every other farm yeah, you've is, had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this more like a kind of, what would you call it, more a bistro style? Could be, you could be right. Or, or wines or something? You could, no. you could be right, you could right. be right, yeah, yeah. But no, all the glasses will go along here. I don't, maybe, probably alcohol will go on the back, on the back. Right. Uh, that's where all that goes. They've, they've messed the shelves up, so we're going to change that because we've got nowhere to put the fridges. So they've got to change that. Uh, and you've went for white tops rather than uh, the, the dark black tops. that you've got in A7. Well, don't forget, Hedonism has white tops as well. Yeah, I, I know yeah, that. Yeah, Hedonism has with the pink. But uh, the next big job will be getting the seating in, which is 
very, very expensive. Um, you're looking about. Is it, are the seats going to be coloured, or are they just going to be standard black? No, what I'm going to, no, they're not going to be standard black. That's the thing. I'm having them they're done the same colour as the walls. Oh. And also with these ones, they're not going to be. Hopefully, if I can get them, they're not going to be stools. They're going to be with a back on, and right. they're reinforced. They're not cheap. We're looking about four thousand quid pounds just for the seating. So, so sell, sell me it more, Nick. Sell me it more. What's have you got any music policy that's going to be in here? Uh, I'm, I'm mainly in here. This might upset a few people, but it's mainly going to be modern stuff, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. Yep, yep. Okay, look, you know, all you guys are getting older. <laughs> all you guys are getting older. We need to catch on to a younger market here. Right. Okay. I, I, I might be on the fence. I'm not, with saying the that, I'm not saying that's true, by the way. I'm not saying that's true. I'm just saying we'll start with that and we'll see how it goes. It attracts the younger, the younger people. Right. Is there enough young people in Soy 7? That's the thing. Uh, is there enough young people in town? I think there is. Look at Walker Street. Right. Okay. Because it's quite strange that, you know, the, the, the kind of music policy it affects a bar so much. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't know. It's, it, it's literally right. It's, it depends. If you've got 20 customers in here that like some rock music, they'll put that on. Right. Well, you've got 30,000 subscribers on your channel, right? And maybe they can all put a comment. Everybody that watches this video, <laughs> put a comment and let us know what type of music you like. Seriously, in the comments. And then you've got to listen to the people. If you get a thousand comments saying they want, like, what Mate, of a different if, style. If, if I had to listen to the people, I'd be out of business by now. <laughs> <laughs> Especially you. you. Got to listen to the mongers. <laughs> right. No, it's oh. so, well, mongers corner. Okay, uh, mongers corner. Oh, I can feel some nice hair in here. Has it got the hair going on? No. Um, yeah, this is basically this part here, guys, is going to be studio. Um, the, the, the silver has gone from the walls. Um, there will be mirrors put in there, as, um, but not on that back wall because that will be from where we'll be coming live from. So. I'll probably put a neon in the background there. It's a good idea. Are we, were we thinking about a TV maybe? I was thinking about neon. Does anybody want to sponsor it? Anyone want to pay for the sign? Want to sponsor it? Mr. Day State? <laughs> uh, imagine a Day State neon sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine that. That, that would be excellent. Or oh, do you know what's quite good? Have you seen these ones that they cut out of metal? It's like a circular and they cut the metal and then they put a backlight on it and yeah, it looks yeah, quite yeah. modern, quite, quite. Yeah, yeah. That would look quite good in Monger's Corner here. So there you um, go. I You've got the curtains up already, Nick. I'm, the curtains I'm up already. I can't put them across here now because the paint. Right. Can there. I ask you what's going to be happening that I would need to pull a curtain? Um, well, it's if you want to get some aircon in here. I say a coin curtains. That's it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's stick, all. stick to that story, Nick. Stick to, stick to the story. Yeah, yeah. So uh, listen, I'll tell you what we're going so, to think so about doing. Basically, the seating, which is yeah. in, in keeping with the uh, theme. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, the one they fixed. Really nice, comfortable seats, these. Solid. Interesting. Really nice and comfortable. The only thing I was thinking, Martin, when we're doing a, sun, a, a, a live show here, we're going to need a table. Yes. So I'm going to have to, you know, the tabletops, really expensive, man, because the, the granite and the cut to size, they're very, very expensive. So, sorry, can you rewind a wee bit? You're going to put low, the low kind of go-go tables that are thin? That's like what, that? Well, I was thinking it's going to be enough to get a laptop on. Right, okay, so we'll need to design that. Now, what's interesting about this, when you, when you get a, a space, that's yeah. a new space, because this is a new space, it's great to think about brainstorming ideas. Yeah, and that's then, why I got you there. Yeah, and then later on, when everything's finished, see how close it was to the brainstorm yeah, idea. Yeah. So that's, I mean, what I'm thinking, maybe, I don't know, but you, you, I'm thinking two presenters, one would be here, one would be here. Okay, the camera would be over in the corner and there would be maybe there may be a diagonal table or something, maybe. Yeah, well, I was something just thinking there. that one, is, you've seen it in, the, in a lot of these new Gogos now. They have literally a really thin table. Yes. Uh, but we don't need it that thin. It needs to be probably 16 inches, maybe, just so you can get a laptop on it. Um, I probably have to want one there and one here or something. There is enough to, to get one here and you, you've got the dancing pole. Yeah. The other idea we've got is we're going to, I said earlier that we're going to be doing something like maybe beauty pageants, maybe mm -hmm. um, some quiz show, you know, like TV shows. So we can have a, like a panel here. No, that's always the panel as goes in a, there. As in a panel of people. Yeah, the panel goes there. Yes, panel, over, panel of people over here, maybe judges, etc. Judges here. Ten. <laughs> um, with, so, with a clipboard. So, so I mean, it's a great controllable space. I'm, I'm, I'm excited and I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm more excited when that aircon comes on because it's very <laughs> And I'm just thinking, I don't think he's got any fans. I don't think we'll need any fans in here because it'll just be a nice box off air conditioning. See what they have to do here? They have to cut out the, the ceiling 
to, to get an aircon unit up yeah, there so it's not yeah. too low. And uh, we've obviously don't get up to any 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 shenanigans in here, or because um, you'll see that by law they have to have <laughs> cameras watching your every move. <laughs> it's part of the law; they have to go everywhere, um, and we're not watching. <laughs> so, so that's it. Um, we only go back over the cameras if there's been a problem. I can't sit there watching all day anyway. So what's the update now? You keep giving everybody an update of when <laughs> it's going to be open. By the time you get all the that's um, you. licenses. June, June, June. Um, let me take this microphone off. When, when can we be open by? Wow, why are you asking me? <laughs> well, you're the, you, you're the one doing the licensing, so... I don't know, maybe about the end of the month, yeah. About the end, so yeah. not before the end? We can do any, you know. Yeah, we can do anything if we want to. Okay, there you go then. We can do it if we want to. Thank you, June. It's a very diplomatic answer there from June. Did you, I like that. Um, we're, we're really none the wiser, are we? <laughs> After that we, answer. We are, we are getting very close, by the way, but it's, we do have a bit of an issue with um, licensing. Not, not there's an issue with licensing themselves. Uh, there's an issue with basically contracts and we're waiting for the contract because we can't do the license until we've got the contract. Right, the number one and the last question I'm going to ask you, sounding like an interview here, how are you, how are you fixed for staff? I mean, when you, op let's say you open this up, um, let's say the, the, the first of the month, how many staff can you put into this? Probably, about, probably about 20. So are you, are you, are you going to, are you going to steal some staff from some of the other bars? Yeah, that, that's why they're filling them up now, because a lot of them are coming to go to work in here. Ah, so, okay. So that's why we've got, we've upped our game getting staff, we've upped our recruitment department. Uh, and which we're going to up again because we need, we really need around about 40 to 50 staff in each part. Now I've, I've read in certain other p places that um, a lot of people are saying there's been a lot of women returned to party over the last couple of months. Would you say that's a fair comment? Um, you probably, could be, could be. We, we, we don't sort of work like that. We, we kind of um, try to attract new ones. Right, okay. You know, we try to attract fresh, fresh staff here. And, and Again, staff-wise, are we? Are you going to be trying to fill this with like the top beautiful women yeah, in the yeah, group, yeah. or are you going to? No, no, we're no, going we, to throw we, the old, no, no, we the old slap around we, here. We, we split, we split them, <laughs> we split them over the group. We split, we do. Right. We, we try not to. We did, we did do this. Probably made a mistake last year where we put them all in. Not all, but we put them, a lot of them into one boy. It depends on. It depends on the politics in one boy. Ah. If we've got some girls that we know are bullies in there, we won't put them in there, we'll put them somewhere else. Right. We like to try and com accommodate everybody. Um, and there is a lot of tribal crap that goes on, as you know. Interesting. So, so we do try to, it, it depends on the politics, you see, with a lot of this. Okay, manager-wise, are you, are you thinking who's going to be the man in yes. charge of this? Yes, yeah, 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 I've got, I've got the guy that I want to already. Um, it's up to him if he wants to do it. Ah, oh, okay. Exciting stuff. Yes, exciting. That is it for this one. It's been a bit long winded uh, because we've got Martin here who's, uh, as all, he's casting on one now. I'm not blaming Martin. Uh, he had a few questions to ask. That's why I wanted him here. I wanted him here uh, because about a few things. But he's happy. He's really happy with it. Anyway, it's looking really nice. As you said to June, maybe by the end of the month. We'll see. Guys, thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye.